Um, so this is the first video on uh, basic HTML5 and CSS. Actually, as it turns out, most of HTML4, it's pretty much the same as HTML5. Um, there's just lots of new features. Fundamentally, it's nearly identical. Um, but there are some differences, uh, and it's definitely an improvement. There's no question you're, you're going to, when people say HTML, really, they're thinking HTML5. But now you may say, why are, why are you looking at this website here? Uh, www.mamp.info, etc. Well, I just, I, th I realized that some people might, um, might be viewing this video as one of their first videos as you start to learn HTML. I realized that, well, some of you might not have a proper server installed. So really, if you're using a Mac, or even if you're using a Windows, this is called MAMP. It's called Macintosh, Apache, MySQL, and PHP. If you're using Windows, you can search for WAMP. Now, by the way, what is this thing? Um, this is, uh, really, it is a tool to make things so much easier for you as a developer and also as a learning, a new developer. Um, I, at this point, I'm not going to do a tutorial on installing it. It should be pretty straightforward. And, you know, I'm kind of, uh, I almost feel a little guilty that maybe I should do a tutorial on installing it. There may be a couple things. Well, at any rate, th this is a crucial step. This is a crucial step. And I can't imagine not using it. It has been so incredibly reliable. At any rate, you need to have Apache server installed. Um, and don't believe what people say, oh, do Nginx, Nginx. No, that, that's spelled N-G-I-N-X. Uh, no, you don't really need to do that. Um, stay with Apache for now. Um, it is far easier to configure. I've read out online that, oh, Nginx is easier. That's not true. That's wrong. <laughs> Nothing could be further from the truth. Okay, and my MySQL server, these are going to be so great, way more than you're going to need. Okay, by the time you really need more, by the time you really need more, believe me, you're not going to be watching these videos. You're going to be doing, I mean, you're going to be by the time you have so many visitors to one of your web applications, wow, you're going to be very, it's going, things are going to be going really good for you, okay? Um, and 99% of the web, websites that are out there do not need anything more than this, okay? All right, maybe 97%, right? Because it's just these big, big, big websites. Okay, well, I'm not going to go into that. At any rate, so this will install MySQL Server for you. It will also install a terrific tool you've just got to use, you've got to have, and it's called PHP My Admin. Um, I am going to have another video on this, on how to create databases using this tool, um, how to uh, um, how to change databases, how to export. Uh, data, um, all these different things, okay? And this is, it's a terrific tool, but guess what? This, um, this software here, this MAMP software, uh, which you download to your local computer and you install it, uh, you, and again, they have, they have a version for Windows also, okay? But instead of the, do, instead of the M, They'll have a W for Windows, Apache, MySQL, PHP. And the P here sometimes refers to Python or sometimes refers to Perl, uh, but usually PHP, okay? Um, again, you can use it on Windows. It's terrific. It will help, it will help you so much. Um, and the default port, so just so you'll get a sense, um, the, the you may think, oh, this is kind of weird here. Um, why do they have this 888? There's, then there's a colon. Well, okay, let me explain that quickly here. Localhost, it's just a commonly used word that refers to 
your local computer. It's the computer you're on right now. If you're a user with an interface, okay, and you're doing something, uh, whether you either whether you're on a command line or whether you're here where we've got a web browser, you know, we've got folders, uh, different programs happening here. Localhost is your local computer. And now then the and then colon eight 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 that the colon just says, okay, we're at localhost. And by the way, we're going to be at localhost port number 8888. Here's the port. Okay. And then next is a folder. So this University of PHP, it's just a, a folder I named, right? And we have some files in there. It, by default, um, will go to the index page. Okay. So we're, we're also there. Now, if I put in... Um, let's say index 2. I don't have an index 2. So it'll say, oh, not found. The requested URL was not found on this server. Okay, so we, this MAMP will uh, in, in install everything you need to start developing on your local server. Um, uh, okay, uh, let's see. What else do we want to do here? Um, yeah, that should do it. But let's let's come over and just quickly take a look. Um, you can see here's Mac OS, here's Windows. Um, so actually, I don't know how much searching you need to do. You can find a Windows right there. Um, well, at any rate, uh, you can do this on Windows. Um, essentially, the same software, same functions. It will install MySQL and install Apache and it will install um, PHP my admin that user interface for using it so it's good that I'm apologize again that I don't have a video going I don't want to reinstall it on my computer so you can search on YouTube and you're gonna need to get that squared away I kind of apologize for not having a video on that because you know sometimes the most difficult part of doing things in web development the most the biggest headache um, and the most frustrating thing is getting the initial configuration set up okay I feel for you I know it's a pain in the butt you'll feel as though there'll be some detail and that detail it's thrown off or it's wrong and after you get the installation done you may feel like wow um, I'm never going to need to know that information again, yet I spent three hours pulling my hair out. Okay, this is another reason why I like MAMP and the WAMP, because it makes things easy. It's extremely well tested. Okay, it's extremely well tested. It's not like some of these newer JavaScript frameworks where, oh, there's tons of uh, messing around and funniness and errors and, oh, you've got to configure this and you upgrade that and there's more problems much of this stuff is when it's so stable it's so well tested um, and that's sort of like PHP Apache and MySQL in general um, it's extremely stable um, and it's extremely it works extremely well very few bugs okay see you in the next video so we can actually start coding eh?